Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to export files from SketchUp to Unreal Engine. And some things to note before exporting. Now we will start. First, you should group them all together. Parts such as structure, furniture, outdoor, into each separate group. The reason to do so is to make it easier for you to manage and convenient for re-import if necessary. For editing, just group again, then we hide it in. the landscape section we just export. Then there is nothing we need, we will delete it later. And now we will find a tool to export, you go to Google and find Datasmith. It's Here you scroll down and find get the plugin. You find SketchUp Pro Exporter. We will use Unreal Engine version 5.1. This is the official release from Epic, so it's stable to use. Please download it. To install it is simple, just click Next. It automatically targets with SketchUp, so no need to do anything. Now we just show each group and export each one. A hidden group will not. Export you to file, export, 3D model. This. I have exported before. You export to a folder, later, maybe we will need it again. And then save them. For Unreal. Engine, please find Epic Launcher. Then we download it. Here is its icon. When you turn it on, there will not be Unreal Engine 5.1 there. You switch tab to Library, click the plus next to Engine Versions. These are my versions I'm using. For example, I want to install version 4.26. Press the plus sign it will show this tab. Click on the drop-down button, it will show the version you need, select 5.1. Then install. After you install, then change the location of the vault cache to limit the space on drive C. Later it will generate a very large capacity. It's over. Just the basic installation file is more than 30 GB. 
if you don't need. It, it may take some time to learn how to make pack to mobile. A is very difficult for newbies. Please remove these parts. To the option and uncheck the ones that do not need. Android, iOS, HoloLens, tvOS. For me, I need to learn it, so I still leave the starter content as a part. Sample number for newbies, please leave it. For you guys, can remove it and reduce the size quite a bit. After you install it. Launch it. It will start up a bit long. Because of its cache creation process. After that at this table will appear. We work on architecture, so choose this. There are a few other tabs but it is only the initial preset. For example, game, simulation, we choose architecture. Example like later, if you need to adjust the settings, there will be places to do it. Such as plugins, change the compilation direction. We will name this project. Find a hard drive with plenty of space to save. With Unreal Engine then. Please get used to limiting the use of the spacebar. Recent versions seem to have gradually been possible. But when you do it with blueprints with notes, it is not yet. With version 4.27 back then, it is still not recommended to use the spacebar to name. It, we create it. This is the screen when starting. To move the camera with the W key, forward, A, left, S, back forward, D, right. With the configuration, it is recommended to use at least NVIDIA GTX 1060 video card. Minimum RAM should be 16 gigabytes. If possible, use RTX. New CPUs to minimize project compilation and the ability to handle light in real time. I used to use GTX 1050 Ti card in the past, but it is quite laggy. With old configuration, so the waiting time for compilation is very long. It takes up most of the time working with Unreal Engine. With current software, most of them require a relatively high configuration. However, its value is completely equivalent. In our country, it is often called, whatever money you have. Of course it also depends on your financial ability. More with Unreal Engine it almost completely meets. The requirements that other software has such as, cinematic, system programming, animation, modeling, interaction. It's almost perfect.
now. A really cool tool for everyone. Now we're going to import the datasmith file into the files they exported from sketch about with datasmith these three files First, you need to create a folder. How to manage it like a separate window operating system. The management of Unreal Engine depends on the level. Not by layers, like other. Software, it is levels. Call them something like a package. You name it like what you exported. Later if you want to find it, it's simpler. How to manage it, so it's flexible, and much better than the Layer you go to level. If as you haven't seen this level tab, it's here, window, level, and turn it on. You hold your mouse over its name and place it anywhere you want as long as it's convenient. There are two ways to create a level. Or create it above level tab. Or right click in content browser. I'll import the construct first so name it construct. Of course there's no spacebar. Once you've created it, drag it here. Let's save it. Keep an eye out the current context. With the current context, it's like you're opening a folder. When you open a folder, and you import it, it'll be in the folder. That folder. Now we want to import to the construct level. Let's turn it on. With the persistent level as the parent level to contain the child levels. For example, here its child level is construct, later we will create another child level. Remember it, otherwise you import it, it will be lying around very difficult to manage. We can completely copy the level to another project. All the properties in that level, it will move to the same. Or we can give it load them one by one. Avoid loading too many levels at once. can cause crashes, or bugs, or lag. Now find where to import. If your Unreal Engine doesn't see Datasmith, go to the plugin, and find Datasmith. Here there are many, please choose what you need. This FBX will be needed at some point. In fact, using FBX will be much lighter. Maybe when you tick it, it will restart. Quickly, soon. Create folder construct. Then choose Import from Datasmith.
find, go back to the folder you exported from SketchUp. Select the Construct folder and leave these parameters as default H. No need to turn on the camera, light. With the light map resolution, just keep. It is a method of calculating the light. But later we need to edit. It, there is still a place to do it. Amazing, everything is run in real time. The light it has analyzed itself. That you move very smoothly with. No lag like other software. Not to mention you also have to set the light. For other levels, please do the same. I will create levels outdoor. Put it in. Save them. Remember to do this often. If your PC is a bit weak, it will be prone to bugs. We create another folder. Name the same as the level name. The steps are still the same. This you should choose the folder carefully if you want to move to another folder later on, it will be a bit difficult. So keep this in mind. We take a look around. while waiting for it to load. Everything is pretty good. Continue like this. Create the folder furniture. Remember to put the level in a folder. Import files into a separate folder. This is why I will show you the current context. How it works how. Is it when you hide it, how is it hidden? This plane doesn't need it, we delete it. Remember to save it.
There are many ways to save all of them. File, Save All. Or here and here. Yes, it looks pretty funny, but really save all. Because Unreal Engine has a lot of bugs. Our lesson ends here. The next post I will guide you guys. Understanding how materials work and how to use them. And I will show you about Quixel's amazing library. It's 3D scanned from reality. Remember to register. And use your account when you sign up for the Epic game. Then you can use the complete Quixel library completely free. Quixel has been purchased by Epic before. So please use your Epic game account to log in. The library here is huge. Very good detail. It's scanned from reality. I can pull in if your link you are good enough. Either download here. There are many items here. Suffaces is A. Three D asset, three D model of A. Tree. Thank you for watching, by the way. If you found it useful, please like, share, and give me one sub. Thank you very much. Goodbye.